controlling and handling endless web material on your production lines is definitely tricky. And if you have a transparent web, then it gets more complicated. And I get it, it is even frustrating at times. But hang in there, I might just have the right solution for you. Hi, this is TJ Singh, your Thick Product Specialist with ENM in Southern California. So like I mentioned before, a position sensor is one of the key components for all industries that utilize automation. And the new SIC AS30 array sensor is just here to solve all your application needs to give you reliable process control. The SIC AS30 is an array sensor which has a very large line spot of 50 millimeters, which means you do not have to finely position the sensor that makes installation very easy. Features such as 30 micron repeatability, multiple operational modes, a 50 millimeter field of view, a TFT screen for easy installation and mounting, and a PC-based software using IOLink protocol definitely puts AS30 in a league of its own when we talk about position sensors. Let's do a quick software overview to see how easy it is to set up this sensor. Okay, so once we connect our sensor to the laptop, you would turn on SOPA's ET and this device window will pop up. Double click on it. And this is the configuration page for the sensor. Now, the very first step is to do a alignment setup for which you go to sensor setup and just bring in your alignment tool, which is like a barcode. And you will see based on the movement, you can find the best spot, which will probably be around zero, zero. Once you do that, press on the alignment T chain, press on the next button. Now, as you know, the sensor has four modes. We will run it in edge detection first. So once you do that, go forward. And here you decide whether you want to do it with reflector or just with the background. So let's try proximity first. And if I go forward, you will see that the sensor is actually picking up the contrast difference between the background itself, which is not good because if I bring my material, which might be whatever color, the sensor won't pick it up. You will see here. So in such cases, the best thing is to go back and select reflector and put out a reflector underneath the sensor. And now if you go forward, you will see that we can very nicely bring our material in front of the sensor and you will be able to pick up an edge all throughout the 50 millimeter available. And once you do that, you can adjust the sensitivity as well from here. For us, course should be good. And on this page, you can select what your pin to analog output is going to be, whether you're doing center positioning you want edge position and on pin 5 you can either do it as an input or even an output which will be like a digital output once everything is done press press on the finish button and on the very first page you can actually visualize what the sensor is seeing and this is the edge that it is picking up right here in the green and if I go on the next tab for general device settings so these are all the features that you get over IOLink even on the right side, you can see diagnostics, which help in predictive maintenance. So all this is over IO link. And on the next page is enhanced, ses enhanced sensing. Once you go on enhanced sensing, you can actually do deep teaching on the sensor where you can find better contrast differences between background and the object and make changes accordingly, especially from this setting. And you can also do scaling on the sensor itself. Like if I want it to read complete 50 millimeter field of view, then I can just do zero to 50 and so on. And you also have again, smart logic. You can add timers because of IOLink and you can also save your jobs. And that pretty much sums in what IOLink can do for you with this sensor. 